come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? Can <laughs> you do a better than that? No, that's pretty good. No, that's pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the Saturday Night Freak Show. This is a movie review podcast <laughs> where we review movies each week, whether you're ready for it or not. And then uh, we sit around and we talk about them until we can't talk about them anymore. You found us on iTunes or Stitcher or CastBox or wherever. Please give us a star rating, a like, or hit that subscribe button because all of that stuff helps us raise up. The rise up through the algorithms. I like raise up. Raise, raising. Yeah. Like we're pushing the other ones out of the Just way. Yeah. Up. That's right. That's how I see it. Or you know, shooting up through the stratosphere, uh, taking over your world. So all of that stuff helps us get found by other fine folks like yourself. Uh, you can also uh, write to us, join in the Freak Show family by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And follow along on Instagram for the time of your life at Saturday Night Freak Show. These are the internet radio superstars. Holly, Michaela, Sean, and I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by Sean. What did we watch tonight on this Friday the 13th that we're Friday recording? With a full moon. With a full, with a full moon. moon. Can we just talk about that for a second? It's magic, it guys. It doesn't happen. Like, it's a crisp autumn night. Like, the harvest it is, is upon us. It really is. It's, it's, it's it wonderful. It is kind of, like, perfect it's outside. It's perfect tonight. Like, there's slight leaves blowing, and there's yes. a wind, and there's a full moon. It's Friday yeah. the 13th. It's, Friday the 13th. it's, a, and it's And possibly perfect. when we're done recording this, we might be able to actually go out and see the peak, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, like so. yeah. peak spooky babies right here. I love yeah. it. I love it. Speak spooky baby. <laughs> well, on this Friday the 13th, we watched a Friday the 13th. Which one? Part eight, Jason Takes Manhattan. From the year. 1989. And directed by Don Rob Hedden. Rob, Rob Hedden. Hedden. Rob Hedden. <laughs> Don Hedden. Yep. Rob Hedden. Rob Hedden, uh, who is also direct- he directed uh, part of the series, Friday the 13th. That's how they recruited him for this. Probably. You remember that he Friday the Thirteenth the series? I like never Jason saw it. went around every week like killing people. Uh, Did he? Yeah, except no. no, that never happened. <laughs> that never happened. It was no. about like a antique store and people would buy things and like stuff would happen. Like oh, needful things. Well, yeah, they they sorry. had already <laughs> bought and bought them, and uh, then the the proprietor dies, and his two like niece and nephew or something. Uh, have to go track down all the shit that was sold because it's all haunted. I'm not gonna lie, this sounds fun. Yeah. It, it was decent. Right. It yeah. just shouldn't be called Friday the Thirteenth. Right? Okay. Yeah. It has forever been on sale in Walmart. It's like Friday the Thirteenth series, and I'm just like, I don't think it's because it had the logo. Yeah, yeah. It, it was does. from Paramount. It has. That the logo. was back when uh, Paramount had just done uh, uh, Star Trek. I believe was that a Paramount show? Star Trek: The Next Generation was famously like was. a show that was not made for network TV. It was made for syndication. Mm. It was a, such a big hit that Paramount then said, "We're going to do War of the Worlds." You don't remember this either. And Friday the Thirteenth, the series direct for syndication, wow. and so it would air in weird fucking times depending on where you lived. Well, bravo. Yeah, uh, John LeMay or DeMay LeMay, I think, who was one of the stars of Friday the Thirteenth, the series, was also recruited to the big leagues to be in Jason Goes to Hell. He was the lead dude. Oh, really? Jason like the Goes boyfriend? Who's yeah, going he to- is the main guy of uh, oh, right. the show. They did. I think they went over that in the Crystal Lake Memories. Yeah. And shit. yeah. So what you're saying is the TV show is like the farm team. Yep. So if you make the cut right. there, then you get yep. promoted so, to oh, the majors, you huh? Good. You can go yep. and uh, be in a Jason movie, mm. yeah. which is like. Okay, that's okay with it's me. Not it's not a bad, like, it's hey, not a bad it's, method. I'm in a TV yeah. show, and now it's like I did good enough. Now I can be in the movie version of this. Honestly, mm-hmm. I, it great. makes a lot of sense. It, it does. It does. That's a, a good move sense. for an actor. I always love I the think. fact that this is the way I kind of see the Friday the Thirteenth series for actors. Right? Usually, it's the first thing that you do. Sure. You know, you're getting out of whatever right. film school or acting school. You go to the 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 New York the uh, actor studio. Yeah. And then the next thing is like, well, up in uh, New Jersey or wherever the fuck they're shooting these things, like you can be part of a Friday the Thirteenth movie. Right. And so they go do it. Which you know, is exciting. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Sometimes I think, it I think it's probably embarrassing for some of them. I don't know. I think, I think once the if they reach a certain point, it can be embarrassing to look back on it. I think I Jensen think- Daggett, the star of this one, said at one point she had an audition with Oliver Stone, and he was looking over her resume like, "Oh, you did Friday the Thirteenth." She said at that point she felt kind of uh, 
uh, ashamed of it. It's funny because she's one of the only people to show up in the Crystal Lake Memories documentary yeah. to be like, no, to if, talk about it. it I was going to say, if you watch Crystal Lake Memories or even the Nightmare on Elm Street version of yeah. that Never Sleep Again, the further the movies go into the franchise, the more grateful people are to be a part of them. Like there are people well, now. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you're looking, you're looking at like at least 20 to sometimes 30 years on when I think, you know, even this is the thing that people still talk to them about. Right. You know, it's like this thing yeah. that I did. We're looking I, at convention people now. Yeah. And so yeah. they're happy to have mm-hmm. this be part of their history. There was several people in those documentaries that were like, hey, I got to be I got to be killed by Jason. I got to be killed by Freddy. Yeah, right? That's a win. Like, that's how yeah. they uh, look at it. And not so. to mention, if you're saying, like, if they're right out of college or school or whatever, they're going to be happy to get the job. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah but they know? don't think that it's going to be the step, the platform. They all think they're Kevin Bacon and they can't all be Kevin Bacon. Yeah. That's true. But who's the biggest star to come out of Friday the 13th Part 8? Kane Hodder? Yeah, I would say uh, Kane Hodder. Kane yeah. Hodder. Well, uh, Kelly Hugh. Uh, uh, yeah, Kelly Hugh. yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. She, she is was, the biggest. Uh, she was in X Men too. And the true. Scorpion King. Yeah, yes. she was Lady Deathstrike in mm-hmm. X Men yes, too. Yes, 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 yes. And then she's done a bunch of like voice work. I think now she's working in TV. I mean, everybody eventually yeah, you, goes you know, to TV. Yeah, you know Kelly Hugh. Yeah, she's yeah. around. She does a lot of shit. Yep. Um, sure she, I forgot she was in X Men too. Yeah, CBS yeah. shows and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who mm-hmm. isn't in CBS shows? That's well, very true at this point. <laughs> All right, so this is the third Friday the Thirteenth movie that we've covered on this show. The first one being, we did part three first. Right? We did part three. We did part three first. And we went to the drive. That's right, in three D. And we went to the drive-in and we saw part seven. Yeah. And we did a show on that. If you go back and listen to our big drive-in wrap-up, I think we did like a half-hour review of Friday 13th. I guess we have to speak of it as it precedes this movie. That's right. And uh, so now we're at part eight because Sean likes to pick the kind of uh, the dark sheep. Yeah, I'm I'm not just going to go like, oh, we'll we'll do part one. Yeah, that'll be fun. No, we're gonna get deep into six. it. Yeah, you go. I could have picked part five, Colin. That's true. Yeah, we had to talk you off that ledge. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, uh, let's go for the obscure hated one. Let's do that. Well, I did have to talk off that ledge. You know, uh, we are gonna have to before this episode is over probably do the old uh, rankings of the Friday mm-hmm. the Thirteenth franchise. Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But we got to talk this one out first, but to sure, find out so. how we actually think about uh, Jason takes Manhattan. So. Over the years, I mean, obviously, there's been a lot of ire uh, shot toward this movie because of its title. Well, yeah. Right. And I think (laughs) we, as a society, we should be over that by now. Right. I think enough time has passed to be over that. And watching it tonight, uh, I have officially gotten over it. Yeah. Uh, But we'll get to that. But uh, yeah, there is, there has been ire directed at this movie because of that. Because, I mean, you know, we start off uh, at Crystal Lake, quote unquote. Um, and you know, most of this movie was on a boat. And so it's the voyage of the day. Vo- My yeah, right. Friday 13th point part eight voyage of the day voyage to Manhattan. Yeah. The voyage Which, home. We're already having problems because it, Crystal Lake is a lake. <laughs> right. Yeah. Which is the thing that a lot yeah. of people can't get past. It's like, it's a lake. All right. right. And it, it takes that so, boat. Yeah. To another if this is where our starting point is, to New York. yeah, it's not going to yeah. be a great time. The logic, yeah. right, employed in most of the decisions Leaps made creatively bounds. in this movie is like, who the fuck wrote this movie? You know, like, and what understanding did they have? Like, how old was Rob Hedden when he wrote uh, this? He yeah, if you told me like a 14 year old wrote this, I'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. For I'm real. Just, I'm curious at what point they dedicated themselves to feels like not giving a fuck because it seems early I, i'm gonna guess so based on the uh jason's now uh, i guess prior to this jason's uh teleportation abilities are somewhat well known i mean we have seven movies prior and jason tends to show up where he needs to show up to kill someone but uh watching this tonight it is not it has never been more egregious than this movie He is literally teleporting from one place to another to kill people. Well, that's how we have to read it because it's either that or it's exceptionally sloppy filming. Right. Where they got, they got scenes, they got everything in the can. And then when they cut it together, they realize there's no connective tissue. We didn't didn't leave enough time for him to actually like the one that bothered me in the theater. I don't know that now that, you know, 
but you know, watching it happens before this, but the guy going up the ladder, like That's there, a bad one. there is an establishment, like the guy starts going up the ladder and then we cut back to Jason standing there immobile at the bottom of the ladder, looking up at him. Next shot is a close up of the dude at like the top of the fucking ladder and Jason's there and grabs him. And you're like, well, how the fuck did he get up there so fast? It's- but I wonder if this is like, well, we got all the shots we need and then we put it together. And then it was like, there just wasn't, we didn't get enough to pad this out for suspense. It's like the next thing is just, well, we'll just go with the shock of him going, you know. I feel like it was a creative choice. I, w- I kind of have to agree with it, you. It, I feel it, like it was a creative it choice. It almost yeah. seemed like Jason was like, I'm going to give him a head start because I know I can teleport like. him. Yeah. Yeah. The way well, he's, he's standing exactly staring. exactly pursuing yeah. them. Yeah, yes. yeah I agree. I agree. Yeah. I feel like he was. I feel like this is a creative choice for this movie. Mm-hmm. It's got to be. Well, there's a lot of stuff that kind of registers as like, is Jason a ghost in this movie? Mm-hmm. You know, is he actually a physical walking zombie or is he a ghost that can just appear places and teleport around? Um I mean, there's there's this whole subplot involving uh, our lead character, Rennie, played by Jensen Daggett, yep. who keeps seeing this ghost boy version of Jason. Yes. Yeah, that's something that they don't fully address. It's like, okay, we've got the whole Jason plot line, but we also have this main character who's- I think they address it later on at the end. But she's full on like fucking hallucinating. Is she? I feel like she or is. is or actu- is there actually a ghost? I, the reason I ask you this yeah. is because the scene that I oh, can't get the dog? past is the, the scene dog. where she's in the cabin and she sees little ghost Jason yeah. drowning out the window and the dog reacts to... So dogs don't react to hallucinations. Okay. Yeah, that's true. So when Jason shows up, he shows up with like an entourage of like hauntings. Is that what we're thinking? An entourage of hauntings. Yeah. That's he, fine. Like he's there, and with him, he brings his baggage of hauntings. Is that what we're going? I mean, for? that's like a new. That'd be a new wrinkle to this. I mean, this movie is trying to move itself away from the tried and true Friday the Thirteenth formula. Yes, At it this is. Point, it yeah. is. You have had seven of these films, and actually, this was the first one that I saw in the theater at the tender age of fifteen years old. And I remember like telling somebody's parents that we were going to go see Weekend at Bernie's, and then whoop. Into Friday the Thirteenth, we went. Adorable, I love that story. (laughs) That's really cute. Storylines are a little similar. Dead guy comes back, uh wreaks havoc on a couple of people. Wait, maybe that was Lethal Weapon too. Somehow we were going to. This was the age I I wanted to be weekend at Bernie's. Yeah, somebody's parents were dropping me (laughs) off at movie theaters. You know, me and buddies, and we would go and watch all these fucking R-rated movies because they weren't carding the way they do now. I was gonna say, how did you you do that? They were just just like, get in. Here you go. I want one for Friday the 13th or whatever you buy. The Jeez, thing we used to have to jump I, a wall to get into this shit. Oh, I had never carded people when I worked at the theater. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't give a fuck. I wasn't getting paid enough to care about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. nobody is. Well, that's the thing. Like movie, you know, the MPAA, for those of it's you not who a don't law. Know, it's not a law. No, yeah. it's a suggestion. In in the UK, when they have their ratings, those are, I believe, those laws. laws. Those yeah. are the British classification. But here it's a guideline. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't actually enforce it legally. Right. The fuck do these people get paid? <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's not like that under 21 Ugh. cigarette thing. Yeah, really? right. it's not like that at all. I truly did not know this. Yeah, no, it's just a suggestion. Show play 16 full on like kicks kids out. Yeah, it's yeah. it's well, yeah. because but they can because it's but it's not but it's not it's, a, it's like policy. A, it's it, policy, it's a, not it's a okay. company okay. policy. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. Well, not illegal. Yeah. It is company policy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um well, where was I going with this? Right for the the, 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 the child the, ghost. Yeah. The dog sees the ghost. No. Yep. yep. There's you were, ghosts. You were young. Uh, <laughs> right. You were young totally. Once, yep. uh, saw the your movie. Youth has passed you by. Was like, uh, I don't get this whole like. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I we, was we disappointed <laughs> by the fact that like I had seen the other ones on video, mm-hmm. and there is a formula to Friday the Thirteenth openings, which is you know you always get the uh, the the recap of what has happened before. Yes. And then the kind of the the white text appearing at different corners yes. of the screen with Harry Manfredini score. Yeah. And this and one's that, like and that font. This one just fucks all of that. Yeah. Just, we're doing like, something no, different. This is a drastic departure. We're going for it right off the bat. Mm-hmm. We're not going to pretend like uh, it's just like Jason. 
Jason is here. Yeah, this one's got a rock, rock song, a pop rock song yes. over shots of rock. New York. The 80s are dying, and we're just like, we got to get one out before it's all done. Yeah. We yeah. got to get all the coke in we can get. Got to get one out. It. it sounded really gross. It sounded, it sounded, it sounded that, no, really that gross. It feels like the, the spiritual motivation of this movie. We got to get one out before, so gross. <laughs> before, before the 80s are gone. We got to you fuck the 80s, get it pregnant, so we can have more Jason babies as we go on into the 90s. <laughs> that is exactly what this movie is. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I think we should end the podcast there. Yeah. <laughs> That's my review. That's what well, this movie is. I think, I mean, maybe, I mean, this is the movie that killed the franchise as far as Paramount Pictures was concerned. Yes, it is. it's the last Paramount one, yeah. Yeah, because it I made nothing. I was going to say, killed it. 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 What nothing. are you talking yeah, about? This was, it made nothing. It was the biggest, one of the biggest box office disappointments of the summer of 1989. I think it was the 70th or something like that, 79th Oof. Uh, Oof. Uh, opening. It made like 15 million. Oh, yikes. Yeah. That's really it bad. I always wonder, like, do, you know, because I've always had this theory that movies, uh, sequels always make money based on the one before it, mm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, which is why I think seven did well was because six was good, but nobody six saw six, but they see it on video. Then right. they go see the next one. And then I think maybe people didn't like seven and we're like, okay, I'm fucking, like I'm seven. over this Friday the 13th shit by the time uh, part eight rolled around. Mm -hmm. Even and though me, part I was eight like, is the unique one. I'm like, I finally get to see one in theater. This is it. <laughs> You're one of the few. And yeah. Like, ah. um, but yeah, so they're drastically trying to change it. Rob yes. Hedden's idea is, uh, you know what? We need to get Jason out of that stupid summer camp. This is yeah. what he said. That stupid summer camp. We got to change it up and do something very different. This is like John Peters saying, "Like I don't want him in that fucking Superman suit." Yeah, yeah. Just like well, <laughs> that's kind of what they do. Yeah. <laughs> like all right, but we got to revitalize this franchise. Sure, we got to do somewhere. something different. Right. We're seven movies in. He's we can't been Crystal Lake a lot. We yeah. can't. People would Crystal not Lake. go to this camp anymore. That's right. <laughs> Based on the the tens of hundreds of people that have died thus far, they would just be like, "Nah, we're not going there." We're not yeah. gonna reopen this camp ten no, years later. Take It'll him be on fine. the road, damn it! Yes, let's this is Jason on the road. <laughs> but who, like, I, just it's a like, road movie? How was the idea? Like, well, we got to do something different. Let's put him in New York City. Jason in New there, York City—that would be wild. I think they yeah. thought of the Times Square scene and yeah. reverse engineered everything. Right. Their brain, imagery, yeah. imagery is everything. They're brainstorming and at that somebody, table and they're right. like, well, "What's hot right now?" Yeah. Sorry, I'll sorry. tell you what's hot. <laughs> I'll tell you what's hot. God damn it, New York City. New York City. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the pinnacle of sleaze. Yeah, <laughs> and fucking what's sleazier than just a grimy, slimy right, we're, Jason? We're saying this is before Giuliani cleaned up New yes, York. Yes, oh, so definitely. This is yeah. the before, uh, yeah. this is the the dirty. Yeah, Times Square. Yeah. It's grimy. It's gross. And from from there is we can toxic waste. In we the can sewers. smell this movie. <laughs> that didn't happen when Giuliani was in charge. I was going to say right. that. But see, this is the stuff that either you love this movie because of this kind of boneheaded, like right. what the fuck moment. But yeah, he's got Hedden puts every night at midnight. New York flushes the sewers with toxic waste. Which is yeah. why, which is I, yeah. I, which is why I think uh, the crime is worst in uh, New York City from midnight after because all these scumbags are flushed out of the sewer because they know it's coming. Yeah, and that's when they invade the city. <laughs> yeah, and this is, is that why, why all the chuds come up too. Yes, I, I, this is, I think so. that's what I think made the chuds. Be, yeah. Right, I think this is what why we can connect all of this. So you know how. Uh, you know how the toxic waste that makes Daredevil Daredevil yeah, is also yes, the toxic yes. waste that turned the Ninja Turtles into Ninja Turtles, right? You know that that's connected. You yes, know this? Uh, yeah. um, no. No, you don't no, know this? No, okay. I don't know. Because so, there were barrels of that, and yeah, there was like so one container. The, ninja, the person that created the Ninja Turtles was a big fan of Daredevil. So the uh, origin story of the Ninja Turtles in the comics is that like, literally you see in the background like Daredevil get hit with the barrel, <laughs> and then the barrel leaks into the sewers, and that's what turns into uh, the oh, really? Ninja Turtles. Oh, yes. I like that connection. Okay. Shut up. That's, oh, that's cool. always been the hand and the foot, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That's the connection. I so get that. All right. So this movie, the toxic waste is also the toxic waste that made the chuds. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I, 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 I mean, I, everything in New York seems to be... Like, New York horror movies are very specific, so yes. they all seem to touch each other. Right. And they all come from the sewers. Yeah, the well, stuff has to be in here somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah, but I know? get that, like, the, the, the chuds were made because, like, some company was illegally transporting toxic waste through the sewers of there New you York. Go. In this one, the government... Like the public works of New York City flushes the sewers with toxic waste every night at midnight. Whoa. They, Honestly, I mean, in New York, nothing like that would surprise me. I wouldn't be surprised. Have you smelled either. that city? It smells like <laughs> rancid garbage all the time. Are, are they the chuds or the chuds? Oh, right. The chuds. They're, they're the, the chuds the now. Chud. 
The I'm, chud. I'm going with chud. It's always been yeah, chud. It's, a good it's always been chud to me, which is why when they said chud, the cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller. Yes, the chud. Um, yeah. So this movie, uh, it begins like you said in uh, Crystal Lake. Yes, um, on the lake on, and where we do get, I think, which is the the you have to have this kind of ritual when you make a Friday the 13th movie. There has to be like the legend of Jason Voorhees. Sure. For those of you just joining in yes. at part eight in a series because somebody dragged you to it. Wait, what? There were murders here? Yeah. All the movies uh, have that kind know. of scene, they do. don't they? Wait, yeah. Because kind of the back then they had to assume that you know, previously you seen on it before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because especially because as you get on, the continuity is all over the place. So you kind of like got to catch up the previous audience. It's like, all right, here's where we're at. Yeah. Psychic lady, her father, Lakes, James. <laughs> Here we are again. Yeah, because I like the way that, like, they, whenever they do this kind of stuff, I they always, the this is where we go, like, Jason super Boris. nerd, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, they put, so Jason's at the bottom of the dock where we saw in Friday the 13th, part seven, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Because uh, Tina's father came up with a chain and hooked him. So he's wrapped in chains, yes. buried under again. this dock. Mm-hmm. And this, uh, these kids on a fucking pleasure boat come by and drop an anchor, and much like Jaws 2. Jaws 2, that motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Break the uh, power line, and Jason's lying right on it, yeah. so that brings him back to life. Yes. Um, but the fact that, you know, because we know at the end of part seven, he didn't have his mask because Tina yes. broke the fucking thing in half yeah. with her psychic uh, mental powers. So it just so happens that the kid on this uh, boat, as he's telling his girlfriend the freaky story about Jason the killer, who's been, he has a fucking hockey mask, which has yes. the axe wound in the head. Perfect. That uh, that Jason had. Why? Had from, I, we can't explain this. I don't know. Maybe somebody but it's was just like, was capitalizing on the legend of Jason. Well, I was going to say, maybe why I'll... does this kid have a Jason mask in the well, that's first maybe, place? Maybe at this point, like, the economy of Jason has come to life. Like, there is... Uh, He's a real-life boogeyman that has sell, merch. And they're selling merch. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I take. It's got to be. Yeah, because why else would he have that? Right. It doesn't make be. any sense. Well, I, I just there's... thought, like, in the in the world of, of Friday the 13th, right, mm-hmm. uh, all hockey goalies wear Jason masks. They don't, there are no other designs. Right. Because this is evidenced in this movie uh, by the, the fucking billboard scene. The billboard, scene. Yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. just wears that mask. Right. But I don't know why it has the fucking... No, I think that's there. actual mm-hmm. Jason merch. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I, I think he has become enough of a He's legend, a legend yeah. There yeah. That, yeah. that is being made at that yeah. point. Yeah. And that's what I'm going with. Because he chose it to scare his girlfriend with the knife and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say there's Jason merch. But nobody I'm officially going to say it. That he yeah. Jason has an yeah. axe wound in the head because Tina busted the fucking mask. Although a dude did pick it up at the end of Friday the 13th, part 7. Right, the two pieces, and so he would know that there was an axe wound in the head. Mm. So then, you know, when they marketed, I, that, I think that, so I think he that designed story. the merch. Is what the, you're saying? Yeah, the yeah. axe okay. mark came in what part three? Yeah, part three. So we've gone. There could have been more from, merch I after part the, three. I think, the, I think the legend <laughs> has gone on far enough where that the axe mark has become part of the legend. Maybe Tammy Jarvis is making that shit. He's all Maybe when he was a kid, he was all into the masks. <laughs> we, he's alive. We don't know, Colin. Yeah. I say yes. Did you know that uh, Tom McLaughlin, uh, McLaughlin, the guy who wrote and directed part six, okay. which was the final chapter of the Tommy Jarvis yes, trilogy, the yes, holy the holy trilogy the holy in trilogy. the middle of uh, Friday the 13th. Um, he has written a spec script. Oh. Of course he has. <laughs> for a sequel, which I believe involves Tommy Jarvis returning yes. to the Hell yeah, let's do it. Did yeah. he have any it. involvement? There's a fan film out there that does have... Uh, Tom Shepherd. Matthews, is he back in it? Matt, yeah, he's in it. Oh, Matthew Shepard from Matthew Five? Shepard from... Uh, who, no, oh, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Who's from six? Tom Matthews. Tom Matthews, who's got Tom Matthews in it. And it's a Friday the Thirteenth fan film, and he's back in it. I, I like the way that Tom Matthews has become like the recurring character. Yeah, like he in the Friday the Thirteenth video game, like he's he in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. his yes. role because he's the best. Tommy Jarvis. He's the best yeah. version, aside from like young, like uh, uh, what's his name, Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman, mm-hmm. and who's great as the younger the the. Like pinnacle older version is him absolutely because uh, six is obviously like <laughs> six is the best in the series. Ha- oh, oh shit! Yeah. That's a, is yeah. That a bold, no, I, bold I'm statement. Gonna Let's just say that, that. Yeah. Holly, like six is the best on, in the series. Friday the th- well, maybe we should do it now. Friday the like, 13th ranking. Sean, at least the best in the series. Six is the best in the series. Okay, 
Hold on, I'm pulling up my litter box. I, I, oh, I, know, I have them right down. I here. wasn't prepared for this. So I was like, I'm not are we doing to all list of them? it all now? Yeah. Uh, side note, I have a jean jacket with the Sherpa lining and the collar, and I call it my Tommy Jarvis jacket. <laughs> that is, that is pretty good. That's awesome. Because I saw that I saw that in the movie, and in the video game, I was like, I should get a jacket like that. I know, like <laughs> it was a pretty dope jacket. It would be warm, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think that's why he is he his character keeps coming back up is because that is one of the best movies in the series, if not the best movie in the series. I think that's the best movie. In the I series. think so as well. well. But again, I, I think we have to qualify this for some people out there who are shouting at us right now like no the first one's the best or the fourth one's the best the sixth is the best because i think it is maybe not the best directed but it is the best written as far as like it has a structure it has characters it it's has got motivation motivation it's got goals for the yeah, characters yeah, 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 yeah. like there is a thrust in that movie yeah that it's does got not a dramatic exist. narrative yes. drive right yeah, that doesn't the, the exist other, in a lot none of the other ones have no <laughs> Because a lot the of most it's, it's movie, the, the random, movie right, of the, the random so killings the, of the other ones, yeah. like this has a point and a motivation. Yeah, I was gonna say Which I have my nice. list available if you want to hear it. Oh, okay, okay, um, here we go. I, I just want to say I did this list like maybe a month ago, and I was talking to one of our listeners, and we we're comparing lists, sure. and it has shifted since then. Like I want to say the top three and four All kind right. of shift about. Let's a little just bit. say our lists for Halloween, Jason, and Freddy are always fluid. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. All right, so my first one is part six. Okay, I would okay. also go with uh, part six I will for, also, for yes. first place. Holly, where are you? First place? Yep. My okay. number two is number four, the final chapter. Okay, well, let me think. Because it's uh, mine would either be the first one or the fourth one. Yeah. That's... I'm going to give the edge to... Oh, shit. I do like the people in the first one a lot I'm going to give the edge to the first one. I think the first I'm one. I'm going to do six one. Yep. I'm going to go but six four, one. But four, four is definitely is going to be next. my number yes. three. Yep. Six mm-hmm. one Because the Tom Savini. Yeah. And, yes. You know, yeah. Yeah. yes. My number three is part three. I think that would be my number four. That's going to be my four. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. My number four is part two. See, I think I have part two. Well, shit. What I would like the wheelchair would I kill so much this? that earns it a lot uh, of points like for part me. Two. Part yeah. two. I like the movie, but it feels so much like a remake of the first one that it's almost mm-hmm. like you could have just jumped over it. Except oh, I really what? like no. Ginny. Ginny is like one of my favorite characters. I like her I'm better go, than Alice. I'm sorry. Uh, what did I say? Six, four. No, you said six, one. Six, six one, one, four. Yeah. four mm-hmm. Then three. I'm going to go six, one, four, two. I'm sorry. Six one four two okay. is what I'm doing. All right, I'm I'm going six. I have the original number five. Six, six one, one four, four three. Okay, Holly, where are you at on this? Sorry, what's your? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's, still, she's still collating. I know. No, I'm. Yeah, I'm. Six one four two three. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's six one four two three. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. Yeah. Six one four two. All right. Number five. I have the original. All right. What am I? First one. There? Number one. Okay. Number five. Okay. We're in this position. I think I'm going with the. Uh, I think I'm going with the remake. Wow, that high. I think I'm putting that oh, there. I'm shocked. High. Yeah. Shocked. It is that high. Well, yeah. unless I'm forgetting something. Like, wait, 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 wait. We're only halfway through the list. <laughs> You're not even half. Yeah. Well, wait. Four, two, six, one, six, four, one, and three. Four, I mean, those are my favorites. So now we're into like, okay, the remake. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go mm-hmm. with the remake. What do you have for number five, five Sean? I feel like I need to write this down. No, you get fingers. <laughs> I, I can't do it though. I can't Here. see it. Well, I, I mean, you'll see my list right, if you wait, see well, this. But let I was gonna me, say, let me get into my list. Hold on, because I'm a visual like person, so I have to look I, at I'm my list. I'm also visual, yet. so I need to figure yeah. this out. All right, hold on. Bear with us, dear listener. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just gotta. Get Holly, to where are you at? At your position number five. Yeah, I went six, one, four, two, three. So three is my five. Okay. Four. Sean's still thinking. Two. And if listeners want to see a visual representation, we can always post it later, (laughs) if that that makes it easier. (laughs) One, two, three, four, six. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so number six, are you ready to move on to that? I think so. Okay. Um, I have, I'm sorry, I can't can't read this. The letterbox kind of sucks. Oh, I have the new blood at number six. Seven? Seven. No, six. Six. No, six. No, the new blood. Yeah, I I have it at number six. <laughs> <laughs> right. Who's on first? Right. <laughs> What's on first? No, no. Yeah. So number seven is your number yes. six. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right. This was okay. Yes. I okay. think that's why she said the new mm. blood. Yeah, and you avoid yeah. So that all it those. wasn't confusing. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. All right. Six and four. Yeah, number six. Ooh, okay, number I'm going to make a fucking bold statement oh, no. here. Uh, I think I'm going to put unless I have forget. You know what? I might put. Let's go with Freddy versus. Jason. Oh, me too. Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised okay. at that high. I'm surprised it's that high. Yeah, I, think I, mine's, I think mine's nostalgia. Um, I'm gonna put uh, <laughs> Jason goes to hell. 
<laughs> I oh, shot I you. Get out of here right now. <laughs> oh, get out. Oh, oh my god. I, all right. Wow. I just got dumped wow. upon. I, I all right. You're just trying to make us upset. No, you no, are. No. You are. I, no, I'm not. I really am not. I'm not that. I'm not. I'm not the. I. It when may, was the maybe, last time you watched? Maybe this it movie? seems like it comes across. I'm not the contrarian. Just like, oh, you all like this. I want to do this. And like, no, I like number nine. I like the legend behind it. I know it, it's 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 the probably, fucking body hopping I, alien. It's not a Jason I movie. Like body it's not a, with Jason. no Jason. It's in not it. a Jason movie. I like it. Okay. I like I like right. I like Crane no Duke. For, I like the oh, whole thing behind. Oh my god. I just like you know what? When somebody it. says Jason Voorhees, you know what I think of? I think of a little girl. With a, putting a hot dog through a donut. <laughs> yep, that's a line in that movie. Okay. All right. Uh, it, did this, you go, Holly? <laughs> this may change. Yeah, I was also pretty for Jason. Okay. I mean, wait, because okay. I'm, I'm, I'm also not. Yeah, no, you can't no, backtrack no, now. No, no, I can, because I'm not forward thinking, so I'm not thinking of every sequel. All right. This you, no, you don't eat your I'm, fucking words, I'm man. Gonna, I'm gonna get, but I'm going with nine, because I All like right. that movie. Didn't okay. we already decide that it's, fucking weird. that it's fluid? We can change it. Yeah, yeah, but he's, right. he's turning on our reactions. You know? <laughs> no, wait, you guys are turning on me. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Number seven, I have Jason Takes Manhattan. Me too. Shit. <laughs> what do we got left? Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, because right here I have to make a decision because it's either Jason Takes Manhattan or it's part five. I think I'm going to go with probably part five because uh, to me, part five, even though I think it was uh, uh, badly conceived, the whole idea that right. spoilers. Well, I mean, you, it's you a guys 30 some year old these. movie yeah because it's not jason yeah but it does function more as a that's friday true. the 13th movie that's true but in my nostalgia i'm saying part eight. Oh jesus <laughs> am i gonna i'm gonna go with, i would prefer to see part eight than part five because right. yeah, yeah the bad will mm. yeah, i'm right. gonna go part eight all right there well, you go you now you know i'm going uh freddie versus jason all right at this part holly i like the movie I already said Jason versus takes Manhattan. Okay. What, what are we at? One, two, three, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven. That was seven. Oh, no, seven. seven. Yeah, seven. seven. That was seven. Yeah, yep. Jason Next takes Manhattan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at number eight, I have New Beginning. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I'm putting mm -hmm. New Beginning yep. right there. Mm -hmm. Number eight, I have the remake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sean? This is probably going to be part eight. Okay. I think we're doing mm -hmm. part eight in that one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, number nine, I have Freddy versus Jason. I think now I'm into the fucking shit that I really don't. That's care. where I'm, I'm at. Gonna go, <laughs> I'm going to go part seven is here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm part seven too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, Which if I'm right, there's only two left, right? You got the two shittiest ones are left. Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have three. Well, in the remake. I already did the remake. Well, you already did the remake. Yeah. I have, I have 12 total spots. I have 12 too. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somehow <laughs> I've forgotten one. <laughs> I could probably put five here. I appreciate five, even though it, it does the little switcheroo, but it's still, I still think it it's works a, as a Friday it the 13th movie. I think it works movie. as a Friday the 13th yeah. movie, so I'm going to put five there. All right. Uh, at number 10, I have the remake. See, at number 10, all right, so at number 10, I mean, where the fuck am I? I just did right, seven. This is hard. Uh, mine's Jason Goes to Hell. I think I'm putting seven here. Okay, hold on a second. Because it's still a movie I appreciate, even though it's like neutered to shit, but it's also one I grew up watching and being like, this is a it fucking, has good it's moments. a good Jason. It has good moments. It's a really good Jason mm -hmm. movie. Oh, you know what? I fucking skipped part two. Oh, I got to redo my list. Oh, my so God. I'm basically, right. 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 I forgot right. too, right. right. I put it So earlier. here you go. My list, for, I'm going to go again. Top, top to bottom. Top to bottom. Jason Lives, the original. I need numbers. Uh what are you talking Jason about? lives part like six one four two okay. three one nine. is That's one is Jason or one's Jason lives two is the original Friday the thirteenth yep three is Friday the thirteenth final chapter yep four is Friday the thirteenth part three okay five is uh the remake six is Freddy versus Jason I'm gonna change that wow, I'm gonna put two I'm gonna put now. Friday the thirteenth part two right there it's then up, Freddy yeah. versus Jason at number seven. Then Jason takes Manhattan at number eight. Where are we? Is this where we are? Nine. We're at ten. I'm going to say is uh, f the new beginning. Ten is the new blood. All right. Holly, what's your number ten? Uh, where are we at? Ten. Ten. Uh, my ten was Jason Goes to Hell. Okay. Sean, your number ten? I said seven, though. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm just making sure. Yeah. Uh, and then I had the remake at number ten. Okay. All right. At number eleven, I have Jason X. Me too. Yep. 
See, this is I'm kind of shocked here because you're saying that's not the worst one. No, so maybe we're gonna no. we're gonna have a difference of opinion on what the worst one is. I'm gonna go. Well, no, maybe you're right. No, I am gonna mm, I'm gonna put Jason goes to hell here. I mean, it's a bold move. It's right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's right. So these move. last two, the the two new line Jason movies mm-hmm. are the worst fucking shit. Sean, what would you put at number eleven? <laughs> I think you put twelve. Twelve is uh, the new one. No, number the, eleven. The, What's your number eleven? Twelve. The 12th Tw- movie. The 12th oh, the movie? Remake. Yes. The, remake? the remake? Just yes. call the movie what it is, well, I'm dude. I'm sorry. I'm going through numbers and I'm trying but to But it's not it called Friday the 13th Part 12. No, it's not. <laughs> it's I'm just going Friday by, 13, I'm going numerically. Yeah. But I think 12, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then our last When one. we get to the end of this and I look at my list, so this is like, the only no, thing, that one belongs The only yeah. thing that's important is what we all thought was the first, the best, which right. I think we're in part agreement. Six. Part 6. Part 6 is the best one. Yeah. I think so. And what is your worst? Jason goes to hell. Absolutely. Mine's 5. Mine is Jason X. And Sean, what number worst, is what's X? your worst one? <laughs> what's your worst movie? It's 10. It's a fucking X. Yeah. It's a Roman numeral. Right, 10. For, yeah. Well, I'm missing one, though. What am I? Uh, He's got to redo oh his list, God. too. No, no, no. What's wait. the worst one, movie? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, this shouldn't eleven, be that hard. No, you it's not. Say, Sean, what's the worst lists Friday lists. the 13th seven, movie? Eight, yeah. nine, 10, 11, 12. But I think also I think all of our like one. bottom three are all interchangeable. Yeah, oh right? yeah, we're all, for sure. We're all Jason goes to hell. A, X. It's and a race to the five. bottom at that. point. It is. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The thirteenth is the new one. There is no thirteenth one. Wait, twelve is the new one. Yeah. God damn it, Sean. Do I have them all? <laughs> oh, for it's easier if you just call them by their names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sean is a very <laughs> odd fellow. I have them all down here. Sean, what's the ten, worst ten, one? Just answer the question. I have Jason X. Okay. Jason X Jason is the okay. Worst Good. Yes. All right. We're awesome. in agreement on that one. I, I think so. Jason Great. X is at the very bottom. But when they send Jason to space. All right. We took 10 minutes doing that. But listener, <laughs> all of you fuckers <laughs> have done this right, before. And you, you wanted say to that, know. Tomorrow you will walk it all back. Yeah. No, no, not all of it. Uh, no. I'm pretty good with this list. Again, it is a race to the bottom. Okay. Of the well, you like, know uh, what? That's that's documented forever that you just said that. I'm pretty sure I can name this off and be like, that's fine. We'll see. <laughs> we wait for the cut in where it's just like awkward audio cut in and just like yeah. five, eight, nine, two. Right, right now the Arrested Development narrator would be saying he would not stick to that list. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the other thing that this movie suffers from is the uh, the MPAA, the Motion Picture Association of America, in 1989. Yep. Did they invent Although, themselves? Yes, they did. It's a Total. There's a Ugh. really good documentary called "This, this Film Is Not Yet Rated." Yeah, yeah, it's about Kirby the MPA. Dick, yeah, yeah it's very it's, good. It is literally a group of middle-aged white women that just decide what we all get to watch. Yep. Mm-hmm. And like they, in the documentary when they did their investigation, they found that most of them, like they have adult children, they don't even have actual kids anymore. Mm. So like, but they've been on the board for like 20 years. So like, they. Yeah. But somewhere that changed because somewhere in the 2000s, the R rating became like, I mean, the hostile movies got mm-hmm. away with shit that like. I mean, because I grew up in the Friday the 13th right. era where all of this stuff was cut out. I think, and maybe that's why, you know, for those of you out there who are saying, like, why is Friday the 13th play, uh, part seven placing so low? It's because that movie, I am, you know, like we watched, uh, it's it's cut to ribbons, basically. We yes. watched a, a version of My Bloody Valentine on this show mm-hmm. where they put all the, the gore back into it yeah. and it completely transformed that movie yes. from one of, it like, changed. a yes. mediocre to shitty. A slasher film to like one of the greatest that I've ever seen. Yeah, yes. and I've yep. never seen the uncut version of Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven, and we never will because that movie, uh, the director basically shot that movie like I'm gonna fucking shoot like a horror movie with all yeah. this stuff, and then the MPAA is like, you don't understand this game, my friend. You didn't shoot coverage to cut. Co- We're just gonna cut this shit right. out. You didn't shoot anything to replace it, so <laughs> yeah. it's just gone. So I think by this the is time John Carl Beckler, to, by the way, yeah. By the time they get, may he rest. By the time may they rest. got to part eight, I think they are aware that like there, there's some shit you you shouldn't even attempt because it's mm. not going to get past the ratings board. And so because of that, the whole idea is you go to see a slasher movie because you've been conditioned on the the gore effects of like Tom Savini and that era. Yeah. And by the 1989, it was like eh, we're not doing that anymore. Mm. Mm-hmm. So what's the fucking point? Then of a slasher movie that I mean, even the TNA in this uh, episode is Very virtually limited. non-existent, yes. and the gore 
for the most part, is virtually Minimal. non-existent. Minimal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that part it when like before and after yeah. the boat captain gets his throat slit, I was like, yeah. that's so lame. That should be yeah. so from lame. the get-go. It should be pouring you know, out. Yeah, so yeah. here's a question that I have about the way that that scene was made. Like, they do, the, this boat captain gets his throat cut. He's in close-up. Tiny and, little cut. Tiny, tiny and he, cut. he leans his head back, yeah. and the, the wound begins to open, and then the, the we cut away to a yeah. shot of the the window of the boat with the rain hitting it. Yeah. And then we cut back to, you know, the guy and there's no blood leaking out of it. No. And no. Jason throws him down and I'm like, why did we cut away? Yeah. Right. The only thing that I can think of is that the MPAA said uh, it's too impactful and you got to do something about it. Or yeah. it goes on for too long. And they're yeah. like, well, what do we do? We either we speed it up, we slow it down, or we just cut the fucking middle out of it. Yeah. And yeah. we cut away to what? How about the window? And it's, <laughs> is it like, do and you it, think it was like, we can't show blood, so we'll just show like water gushing and maybe people will get the hint? Mm. I think maybe, but it's just, it's so odd. It's so oddly set up because the way it's, the way it's shot, you're definitely waiting for that moment for it to start gushing. It's like, why are you hanging so long yeah, if nothing like, is happening? Nobody's throat's going to do this. No. It's so bizarre. You're waiting for that moment and nothing happens. Mm. Yeah. It's annoying as fuck. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in the olden days, that'd be like, it'd be blood squirting out yeah. of it or spraying it. Like, immediately. Yeah. But like, the, why the else would you hang is, on it? The irony is that in 1987, a movie called Robocop came out where somebody did get punctured in the neck and blood sprays for, sorry, for, you know, like a mile. Why? And I think this was part of the thing with the MPAA was like, why? They just had it out. <coughs> Pardon me for horror filmmakers. Horror yeah. was a disreputable genre, and it catered to you know people's worst instincts. And so we're gonna slash the you know, forgive the pun yeah. uh, out of you know out of them. But it's okay in a movie like RoboCop, where mm-hmm. you know horror is the house of ill repute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Said. You know, I don't think we've ever on this show actually done the Kane Hodder show. Let's talk about Kane Hodder because yeah, Kane oh, yeah. Hodder is a guy who, like, this guy wants to be Jason Voorhees. Yes. <laughs> so much so that I think he has a uh, kill tattooed on his uh, inner l- bottom lip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. It won't last. They never do. He was a stunt man, right, for years and had been in a lot of films. He uh, got the role of Jason because he was in a movie called Prison, which was the first uh, movie that John Carl Beekler, the makeup effects guy. No, he didn't direct it. Rennie Harlan did. But uh, uh, Beekler was the special effects guy on it. And Beekler got the job to do Friday the 13th Part 7. And he said, Kane, you know. We, let's bring Kane over to do this. Yeah. And Kane Hodder is now a convention staple. I mean, I've met him a couple uh, yeah. times. Same. You know, um, but this guy. And so I one guy, one convention person I wouldn't mind meeting. He, I met in the first world, time. Chill. In, in a world yeah. where I don't want to meet people, I'd be like, I'd meet him. The first time I met him was when he came to the tra- Trail of Screams. Oh, nice. Way yeah. back yeah, in the yeah, day. Yeah. And that, I, I think he I remembered that free. when I met him. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 That's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I mean, he's a guy who I think is, and I haven't seen, he, there's a documentary on his life now called, mm-hmm. I think, To Hell and Back, yes. mm-hmm. The Kane Hunter. Anybody, anybody here seen nope. that? I've not seen it. No. Um, my impression is that he is, uh, uh, exercising some violent tendencies, uh, in playing Jason. Like this is the <laughs> shit that he, like he could be a da- Like I got the feeling that Kane Hodder could be a dangerous individual. Was it not for? Wait, did he uh, did he put his hands on your throat when you met him? No, Isn't that he, that's a thing, a thing he does now. Like, yeah, every time he takes a picture with people, he wears like the leather gloves and he like puts his hands around your neck. He like flexes really hard when in pictures. So yeah, yeah. well, I mean, he knows what he's doing. You know, right, he's, a, he's a that's what people man. want. Right. I want to be killed by Jason. Yeah, but like he plays Jason. There's and this is the thing that I think people who are outside of horror, when I've tried to explain to them. I could because I was one of those people who was losing my fucking shit when he didn't get cast in oh, Freddy versus Jason. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody's he like should have been the guy. What does it matter? It's a guy in a hockey uh, mask. And you know, like, no, there's like the way that this guy's breathing, there's and his body language. Yes. You know, it's like his very Jason is language. is very different from the previous Jasons, I think. Where yes. basically Jason is always kind of a uh, you know, mentally feeble mongoloid, mm. but Hodder's Jason is this uh he's a beast. 
and he <laughs> and but he thinks he reasons. You yeah. Know? Yes. Even though he's like a terminator, it's like an animal. Yeah. Is it like an animal? It feels he's like a the way he looks robot. around. He's just there's like, there's a determination. I feel like yeah. he's always checking out his. Uh, area. He's always he, aware of his surroundings. He definitely is like, there are some actors that don't know how to act with a mask. They don't realize that they, they have, have to phys- do extra yeah. physicality to make exactly. up for the fact that you can't see their face. Right. He's very aware of that. He, is. And he like, knows he's got a mask on. Yeah. And the other thing he does that I really like is he'll whip his head around first and then turn the rest of his body instead of just yes. turning his whole body at once. Yeah. He'll turn yes. his head first and then turn his so whole body So much more around. effective. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's a very different performance than like a Michael Myers, like he did, or a Freddy Krueger. Yes. You know, I mean, his Jason is, to me, I am always going to say that that guy was Jason. Yeah. Like, star billing should have had, you know, the way that Robert Englund got to be Robert Englund in Absolutely. A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, you know, or whatever. It should have been Kane Hodder in Friday the 13th. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was in, unfortunately, some of the shittiest. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. They're always the best Jason and the worst movies. Mm-hmm. But yeah. some of this we grade based on their um, the visual design. Mm-hmm. I mean, we know this because now there's a Friday the 13th video game where That Kane he did Hodder all the motion capture for. Came yep. back, mm-hmm. did all the, yeah. So he got to do it again, mm-hmm. which is like is poetic justice. So he got sure. to be in all the movies he didn't get to be in before because <laughs> he got to recreate all the kills from those movies. Yeah, and he so. got to be all the other Jason. Yeah, he I got mean, to be like, every pretty much every version of Jason at this yeah, point. Yeah. So, but there's a you know I mean there's a subsection of uh, of fandom where like you can buy the individual Jason masks from each yes. uh, episode. <clears throat> and I mean like I'm one of those guys. I know based on the markings, yes. and all that like which one is from which movie, yep. you know that kind of stuff. Um, what do you so? John Carl Beekler, being a movie uh, a special effects guy, yes. designed, which I think, I don't know if we're all on the same page on this here, but I'm going to put out that Jason? I think that is the definitive Jason, the, the, the part seven Jason. It is. Yeah, I think that's it's the, the defi- best yeah. version of it. Yes. I would say, yes. yes. It's the zombie rotted corpse right. with uh, torn. S- skeletal. Yes. Yeah. You can see yeah. bones. That's the one I out. always play as in the video game. It yeah. Is, yeah. It's the Best, it's the most interesting, best looking version of Jason. Yes. And he's like for the undead corpse looking yes. thing. He's the best unmasked Jason because yeah, there's the always the moment where you unmasked yeah, Jason. That's the for sure. Best. So now we come to part eight. <laughs> Let's like wipe that slate clean. So they give him a yellow hockey mask. <laughs> yes, which is a new hockey mask, which is fine. It's yellow. All right, I'm fine I with the it. yellow hockey. That's fine. It's a wider it's hockey mask. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, it is wider. Yes, you are correct. So then he's basically dressed all in black. Right. And he has gotten more clothes. And a layer of underwater. slime. And a layer of slime, which I kind of like because he's... And gloves, and, black and, gloves. And, I don't know where those came from. He had... Did he have gloves? He had the, the yellow had, gloves in part six. But they turned black after being underwater. He didn't so have long. any gloves in part seven. You know, he's got black gloves in part eight, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. And it's all about design. It's just a character design. Sure. Um, but There's unmasked, a lot of shit in the lake. I guess. Right. <laughs> and, and it collects after all those yeah. years. Uh, he has, I think, the worst fucking unmasked Jason in part seven or part eight. Yeah. Sorry, this is like it's one of the bad. worst. Ugly. It's, it's hard bad. to take it seriously. It is. It is, especially watching the uh, gag reel oh <laughs> during God. this movie, <laughs> which you missed, Michaela, when we had I, to tell you to become that because there's apparently a shot that was constructed which had the uh, the young child Jason in the jaws of the. Uh, elder Jason without his mask going, help me, help me. So they had to build <laughs> a giant Jason head the or Jason his mouth for this kid to be like falling out of when this is supposed to happen when like Jason is vomiting up the water. This is supposed to be really like, the, the kid yes, was supposed the, to fall out. Right, yeah. Oh my god! In yeah. the mouth He's in there going, "Help point. me, mommy," or something like Which that. Which is awesome. <laughs> this because I did not know this existed. Does not make any sense. Our lead character Rennie uh, had a traumatic experience with water. Yes. So her dad with threw Jason. her in the water and said, "Learn her how to uncle, swim." Uncle, right? uncle, yeah. but she was attacked by Jason early on. Well, and when he threw her in the water, yes. yeah. apparently in the lake, the boy who drowned in the lake was yeah. there. You got to swim. Otherwise, he's going to pull you under. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is what I'm going to tell my kid. Oh, my God. This is t- this it makes me, the tough love It days. makes me wonder why she would choose to go on a cruise if that's her experience with water. Well, mm. I think that's the whole uh, conflict at the beginning of the movie. She's yeah. like, I've decided to overcome this shit and 
and do this where he's. I'll just take like, my dog with me. We'll be okay, fine. why is there is. why is there a dog in this movie? There's no no point. Because she's people, got a dog. People love dogs. I mean, yes, we do, but why is there a dog in this now, movie? Now the it reason humanizes Rennie. It, it gives her a sure. personality that the actors can't no, it doesn't. bring to no, it. Doesn't. It would if it, the dog was actually in the movie, but he's yeah, in it for yeah, two it scenes. It adds nothing not, to yeah. anybody ever. Yeah. Uh, the reason the uncle doesn't want her to come on board is because he doesn't want her to remember that. He threw her overboard, right? Like that's the whole reason. He's just him. like, well, at Wouldn't this point, seeing him he's aware that she has a fear that, of water. Right? It's like you it. shouldn't be here because we're actually going out on the water and you're afraid of it. It's because like that's her, her arc is to remember in these like kamikaze fucking flashback scenes, yeah. like you know, hey, every, the car that we were in just blew up in a New York back alley right. after Jason yeah. killed the fucking cop, and then all of a sudden I stared into a puddle, puddle of flaming fire, yeah. fire and remembered <laughs> that you dropped me in the water. I mean, it's just the most bizarre fucking shit. Mm-hmm. It's, it's weird. It's it um, very dramatic. This movie does have an awesome Jason kill. The best part of this movie. It's It, it really is. I mean, aside from the fact that there's... There's very good Jason imagery in this movie. There because, is. Again, Jason is in. New he's York. in it a lot. Mm-hmm. He's in, but he's he's, he's in, all right. First of all, he's in it a lot because we they don't fuck around. Like I said, they before. start right off. They, Jason's at, killing people right off the bat. Yeah. Like at the beginning of this movie, throughout. I appreciate cool. that. All covered yeah. In yeah, I appreciate the pace. Like yeah. I'm just like fuck it. We're getting in this, and Jason is just killing people. Which you know, you what? want a Jason movie? He's actually a, this in is it a as a Jason main character. Movie. Yes, he is a. Slash when you go back character. and watch like the older ones, like the amount of time you have to wait to see what yeah. Jason is like, he doesn't show up until like the very end. Right, it's all like shoulders and his hands. Yeah, and him in the darkness in a corner. And yeah. it's like no, this is a yeah, J- this get- is a Jason movie. Jason is here and he's taking this, Manhattan. This is, God damn it! This is, first, this is the first By boat. iteration of like Jason in the title of the movie because it belongs yeah. there. Jason, no, Jason lives. Oh, this Jason lives. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay, but th- like this is a Jason movie. Well, you know why New Line had to. New Line bought the character after Paramount was yes. like, "I think we're done. I think we're, they <laughs> right. didn't make any money. We don't care." And uh, so they didn't sell the title. So New Line had to. Get, they had Jason movies, oh, not so New Friday Line the Thirteenth movie? movies. Oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. Um, but yeah, there is scenes that take place actually in New York yes, City. Which eventually, is great they imagery. Make That's where I was going. Like it the is. imagery of Jason in New York in Times Square in a subway, which is not a real subway, as a We've since learned. Um, pretty good it, job, though. It, pretty good job. Pretty good like, job. I'm good for it. Yeah. And, uh, but just him being in uh, an area outside of a fucking like campground, and the, outside of the forest. Yeah. So saying, it's just exciting to it's see exciting this character to see in, in a new, some environment. new environment. Yes. yes. Very and, exciting. And the best environment is a boxing match on a rooftop. Uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so much so, yes. Well, part seven did have one of the series' best kills, which was uh, the uh, the girl being in the in the, um, the, sleeping, the bag. sleeping bag. Sleeping yeah. bag against the tree. That was awesome. Yeah. This it's one great. has, I think, one of the other great, like, I mean, like, comic. It's it's yeah. the but, it's the other end of the great kill spectrum. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Where he boxes Julius's head off in this uh, in the boxing match, and it is, it is and it's a great it's a great build up to a great payoff because Julius has been we've established earlier he's a boxer yeah and he's pretty good at it and so we get him and Jason on the rooftop and he boxes him for a good like minute and throwing every punch and using yeah. every effort he has just on wear, Jason Jason just wearing him down mm-hmm. just, just wearing, wearing him, him down. down. And so, and the obvious, the obvious comeback is that Jason just throws one punch. <laughs> That's that is that is the key yeah. payoff Take your to best that. Shot. Right, that motherfucker. Is the key that. And, in, and wind and up and bam, bam. And there goes that the is fucking guy's head. that is what it should be. It's yeah. really satisfying to do that in the video game. That's is like it, one of my f- happen in the video. Game? Oh, you can do all the kills oh in the video God. games, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's one of the that's one of the ones that like when someone's really been fucking with you and been an asshole, that's the one you bust out. Can you choose it? <laughs> yeah, you, you, oh. you, you, each you Jason has it, though, yeah. wh- whatever kills that Jason did in that movie. Those are your like your special Ooh, kill abilities that when you good. catch that, that, that video out. game is fan service. Uh, I like that, For, like, it's like, better it than the movies. I would say I like the fact that it exists because it is like keeping even though we're the franchises movie franchise is dormant, right? The video game does kind of, and they gave it away for free, like on the PlayStation Plus. Mm-hmm. Don't know why, like, yeah. Could, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's kind of keeping the, you know, right. the character and the people employed, and you know, right? Mm-hmm. Because 
as of this recording, it has been ten years and something months and days since yeah. we've gotten. Well, it's a, tied up uh, in a legal it, thing. Where the, the game original, can't even have updates. The now game at this can't point. even update. So, so we have gone. This is the longest drought in uh, Jason history. Yeah, the guy who the co-wrote the original movie with Sean Cunningham, Victor Miller. Victor Miller yeah. is suing because I think he says like he owns either Camp Crystal Lake, Pamela Voorhees, Jason Voorhees, or. Something. Sure. You know, and so there's this big uh, right. rights brouhaha going on. So everything is and been everything is like shut down. Nobody can do anything with Friday the thirteenth and so this is legally decade without yeah. the Jason movie. Um uh, there's a new guy in charge of the score in this movie. It's Fred Mollen. He yes. appar- it says he worked with Harry Manfredini on part seven, but I believe that he just uh, took. <laughs> no, I think I think they used parts of Harry Manfredini's scores from the other movies, and then Fred Mullen did the uh, the other stuff. Fred Mullen, Harry Manfredini actually used like uh, a symphony, right? He would yeah. use violins and all this stuff. And Fred Mullen's a synth guy, so okay. if you're hearing synth stuff, and it's like this the, is the synthiest. It's the synthiest, and it's Friday not the movie. worst Friday the Thirteenth score. No, no, I think no, that's no, but it's Jason the goes to hell, yes. but. Yeah, or Jason X. It is very synthy. Jason, Jason, v- Jason X is oh, a and that's oh Harry God. Manfredini. But at some point, Harry Manfredini embraced this the the synthesizer, and that yeah. was the day that he fucking went to shit. Although I liked his Did he go uh, to shit because part <laughs> six <laughs> was part synthesizer, and his house score uh-huh. and Deep Star Six have synthesizer stuff in there, but they're okay. There were questions going around on Twitter today. What was uh, Harry Manfredini's uh, most... uh, uh, Where did he use the Friday the 13th score most uh, uh, scandalously in just taking that score and applying it to another movie? Um, uh, a- April which, Fool's Day. I no, told, I told was, him uh, was Slaughter was, High. Sla- that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Slaughter yeah. High. Well, high. same fucking movie because he but, took the Friday the 13th Part yeah. Four. The din, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's we it pointed that out in our episode. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just like yeah. that's lazy. But the the soundtrack for Jason X is absolutely horrible. Let the bodies hit the floors on that fucking soundtrack. <laughs> it's butt <laughs> rock <laughs> everywhere. Wasn't it? Wasn't was it? Disturbed? Uh, dis- no, 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 not disturbed. Body, the body the the words, pool, uh, dr- dr- uh, drowning pool. Drowning pool. Drowning pool. Yeah, I, was I, was I say, never Deadpool. listened to drowning that music, pool. so that's drowning pool. <laughs> we all like drowning pool. Um, <laughs> Do I'm we? Going, I'm going back to my teenage. I, say, I never right was into that like ge- that was all genre of music. Sorry. So, all right, Sean, why don't you go hang out at Wingding? Like, yeah, exactly. Ah, Wingding. Sock monkey ruckus. Friday the Thirteenth. Part eight was like at a, some kind of peak of Jason popularity because of the fact that he was shooting in New York, New York City yeah. for at least that one day that they were yeah. in uh, Times Square. Uh, I remember stories about how they had blocked off, Lying you know, up. and everybody was standing, you know, on these on the other side of these barriers watching them filming. And Kane Hodder was like, I mean, this is like he, he was, was loving it. Star oh, moment. Listen, you know? It is. It really He's the is. fucking guy. He never took the mask. Drawing crowds in New York. And then he yeah. did uh, like the Arsenio Hall. He did Hall Arsenio show. Hall as Jason. Yeah, yeah. there's oh, footage I of both of those in yeah. that. Crystal Lake Memories. And it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, that it was promotion amazing. for that this is, movie. That is peak. This movie had some problems with its promotion. It uh, well, the the, the oh uh, yeah, the they had a poster, the original one, which I actually have hanging up in my stairwell. Uh, was the I Love New York yes. uh, thing that the. Um, New York Board of I don't know, tourism. tourism, yeah, yeah. the Tourism yeah. Board, yeah, it's and like, it's nah. Jason slashing through that, and you know he's on the side. It's a it. great promotion, and so they pulled that, and so the one if you've seen the poster where it's like Jason's mask kind of leering over, it's like a red and blue. Yeah, he's yeah, leering yeah. over the skyline. That's the replacement right. for the I Love New York uh, poster. Uh, what's better than I Jason New York? Come mm-hmm. on. Yeah, it feels yeah. like, but that's the thing about that's this great. movie. It feels like this was. Capitalizing on uh, the New York, the popularity of the New popularity York. of well of, of Friday the Thirteenth and of Jason. It's like you finally made it. You made it to the fucking big leagues. This is the big. <laughs> mo- I think the box, you made it, kid. The budget on this <laughs> was the big time. considerably larger than the other Friday the Thirteenth. <laughs> this is the nineteen twenties, by the way. Yes, yes. You know, I heard maybe you did some research on this, Sean, because you picked the movie. But I, I believe that uh, <laughs> Rob Hedden's original idea for this. 
had uh, a fight taking place in Madison Square Garden. It had people <laughs> fighting and va- Jason right. falling off the top of the right. Statue of Liberty. They were down in the fish market. They because were. Why would, if you're going to make a movie in New York, why wouldn't you think up these ideas? Like, this yeah. is what you you want to hit. If you're going to New York, you want to hit these like, major okay, landmarks. Were they like, okay, we can afford Times Square. That's yeah. it. That's all like, we can you do. You can be in New York you can do for a, shot. a day. Yeah. Yeah. You can do shots of <laughs> Times Square, yeah. and that's ha- it. Have you seen of him walking through Central Park at night getting mugged? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Or some guys try to mug him, try and then he just him. Yeah. kills him. Yeah. That actually reminds me of the two big joke moments in this movie. One being when he climbs out of the docks onto New York and he sees the big yeah, billboard, billboard of uh, another guy in a hockey mask and stares at it mm-hmm. and then turns toward the camera and we see the other one in the background. And then there's another scene where he kicks the boom box of these kids in yeah. the New York. Living in the Tons city Square. and it's no big deal. That's right. <laughs> Says that like si- Okay, that scene's really short, Living but they the say that like six no times deal. in that yeah. whole scene. That's, that's all there is got, to the it's song. It's got to be... Yep. I agree. It did sound like Will Smith, by the way. It did. It, did. it, it was really a little really Fresh did. Prince uh, a riff. Really um, but see, I was actually talking to somebody about this today uh, who said that they didn't like part six because part six was a treated everything like it was a joke. And I'm like, I don't think Are we talking about like the same the, movie. That's yeah. like the most serious version yeah, of it. Yeah, that's why I think that, so too. I don't think they well, saw part that. Part six <laughs> does have a lot of humor, and it's most probably outside the box humor is the James Bond like title sequence sure, where Jason that's comes very in. True. I'm like, okay, you're kind of making it. Jason <laughs> a, self-aware a little bit of ridic- object of right. ridicule there. True, but the argument was like in that scene where like uh, you know the. I've seen enough horror movies to, to know, know that yeah. a, 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 ma- a maniac wearing a mask is never friendly. He's never friendly. Um, but I'm like, but that's, I can see somebody saying that. That's not, that's, I don't think that denigrates your hero. Meta, your hero still no. has the power because he still of fucks being them up. frightening because he's, a, you know, this uh, If this they thing. were to best him after saying something like that. Maybe they would denigrate the hero, but or denigrate the the anti hero, the anti hero at that point because he is, villain. yeah. But in part eight, I think him turning around to these kids who are like, "You're dead, motherfucker," and pulling his mask up off camera, so we get the the way they react is like, "Oh, he must be hideous because he's so he's so ugly that they run away." Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, that's that is making Jason. An object of, you know, I mean, this is like that two, feels like the most mass marketed version of Jason. It's, it's like, completely out of character. That I'm feels like, like the, the most. Fuck? We all know what Jason is. That, that that feels like peak Jason. And we're just going to. Why wouldn't he that. just kill those people? Right. Or yeah. why, them why at this point? Right. He's do like, that and keep he walking. Is a, he is a character at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, this is, is a it's an audience moment. A, yes. Because we know who Jason is, right. so it's like, well, that's look at me, I'm that's scary. why I think we've reached peak, and we know who Jason is, yeah. mm-hmm. and that affects how he the characters in the movie react to him. But I think that harms the character. I think you diminish think his can, power can, by yes, doing yeah. that kind of humor. Yes, I think we are the at other that or, point. Yeah, yeah, ordinarily I'd be, like, I would agree with you, but I'm like, he's taking Manhattan. Like, it's <laughs> fucking ridiculous. You're right. Okay. Ordinarily, you're right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yes, but he's also like, this is cool. Like this movie, he's like, hello world, I'm here. Like, you know? Hey. <laughs> yeah. He starts singing like forty. Second Street song, right? And he's just like Broadway. Yeah, he I might as, he it. might as well do a number with the Rockets. Yes. Like, that would be great. Really. Oh, please! <laughs> that would be great. Was it, wasn't that the trailer? Is like you see him standing. You don't know it's him, but he's, he's standing, standing there, at the, and they, the camera's going. Is in it all playing and like? Psh- dun, 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 or I think something so. Like yeah, that. I think so. Yes. yes. Then it yes. gets in on him, and he turns around. And everybody's <laughs> yes. like, you know, Friday the I want a scene in in the the version that we were making that we're talking about. where We actually film in New York. I want a scene of he's going. By all the bootlegging people that sell like bootleg movies and stuff, and he picks up a Friday the Thirteenth movie and he yes. gets mad that they're bootlegging his shit and, and just yes. kills them. Yes, yes, yes. that's that. I would want be great. that. I yes. want that. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that would be good. Well, we've probably uh, we've we've probably t- take, we'll see the the ranking thing took too much time, so we can't really talk about. Uh, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, yeah, we've all down. seen this movie. Just this calm, is one of those calm, like staples. Calm down. Okay. Well, then we're going to move on to... So what we're going to do, folks, if you're, this is your first rodeo, we're going to go around the room, tell you what we each thought of Friday the 13th Part 8, and if you should watch it like you haven't already seen it. We're going to... Okay, you right. get to find if you, how your thoughts on this movie align with ours. That's pretty much how this Which is going to go. That's why you're tuning into this show. That's right. But before that, we're going to keep you in suspense. Why so, Colin? Because you're going to have to listen to us read your mail. This Ooh. is the most exciting, second most exciting part of the show. Uh, and uh, to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman 
Igor. So, Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He wore uh, the wrong. Mail. He wrong. He wore the wrong Jason costume today. God damn is it. it he's, does he have the blue marks? Yes, on his mask? he's got his, <laughs> he's got his Roy on. costume not, on. Not Jason. No, damn it. Three movies he, off. He should know better. He, but he got the slime right. Oh. Yeah. Well, well yeah. that's just the way he looks. That is the most yeah. accurate you've ever been. Yeah. Bravo, Igor. Well, we want to remind you again how he's you can get a hold the of us under his mask. Yeah. He's got the burlap sack under the blue mask. Well, you can write in to us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. You can follow along on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or get a hold of us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, MF Mad, the keeper of the wall of fame. Thank you, sir. Yes. Which we have to keep reminding uh, folks, just in case this is your first time, uh, we have this wall of fame of photos. The Sylvester Stallone wall of fame. Well, because right. he's yeah. been in seven the honor, films honor. that we have covered yeah. on this program. The pillars And of so the that's wall. why he is the has built the wall. I feel but like basically, we need to do another Stallone we're, movie. We're overdue. Like, we no, there are, no, 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 no. You're like only a couple off of Van Damme, like challenging Stallone for This is uh, why uh, I think we need to do another Stallone one. Um, to, like, solidify it's his been a stance. while since we've done a Stallone one. That's because we did fucking seven of them. Right, we did a lot yeah. right together. Yeah. yeah, We did a lot. Um, yeah. But the way that you get on there, you, three, we say three is the, the limit. Like if you do, if you're on, in three movies that we've covered as an actor or director, you go on Ish. the wall of fame. Kane Hodder makes his, oh, sorry, MF Mad, the keeper mm, of the wall, sure. lets us know that Kane Hodder <laughs> is on the wall. Yeah. Oh, time. Holy About shit. time. Uh, oh Kane Hodder obviously was Jason in Friday the 13th part uh, eight. He was Jason in Friday the 13th Part 7. He was also, according to MF Med, now I haven't verified this, uh, he was the alligator. He was uh, uncredited as the alligator in Alligator. What? Huh. What? Do some puppet work or something? Huh. All right. Now, I don't want to do this. But Kane Howder's going to have to hang out in the hallway for a little while until we can officially... Get him in there. The man is there, Sean. We just <laughs> we just did a whole segment of this episode talking about how much I'm he sorry. deserves I'm everything. Sorry. I'm sorry. Do we have rules? And he's probably you're been, trying to impose do rules we have on rules us right for now. Our wall of fame. He's probably or do we not been in, uh, on the stunt crew. In, I'm sure he's probably. Role. I'm yeah. sure he's probably been, been in like in twelve movies, movies we haven't yeah. noticed. But I'm, all right, but I'm going with MF Mad, who is the keeper of the wall. That's right. Now, he if says we're he's going by, if we have structure, if we have rules, if we're going by, if we're giving credence to these things then he's in the hallway right now. You're just as bad as no. the guy who no. cast the, Ken Kersinger instead of him and Freddy versus Jason. The of the wall has put him on the wall uh, and there is a final he did, but answer. He, but the keeper of the wall is not differentiating between the wall and the hallway. Alex, just saying. another actor called Alex Diakon. Another know. actor called this is on okay, the, so is he the, was, is he the wall. Okay, so he was the, uh, the deckhand who basically fulfills the part of Harbinger in this right. movie. Yeah. The, yeah. You're all doomed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he on the wall, Playing too? Playing Crazy Ralph. He's on the wall. You want to know what else he's yeah. been on? Yeah, all right. So we got Kane Hodder and we got this guy. He's and in three movies. you there's no differentiation? This guy was the pastor in Valentine and also... He was in uh, Malone. That's right. That uh, Burt oh, Reynolds God. movie. Oh, God. That, There's only like so five much. people in that Hallway. movie, so he must have been pretty high up. Yeah. Hallway. Okay, uh, about tonight's movie, Jason Takes Manhattan, which may have got the most uh, mailbag responses so. of any movie that we've yeah, ever watched. I think it did. Ryan Handsome Jansen writes in and says, I love those opening credits. The long slot of the long shot of the sludge covered rat, the old lady demanding her coffee filled up to the top in the cafe, yep. the heroin junkies. It's just a travel postcard. Look at what New York City has to offer all of us. It really Very is. True. And if, and true. Like Colin pointed out during the movie, which is like, if you look at it, it's obvious. It is the, uh, fronts and backs of every scene that was shot with Jason in the movie in Manhattan. The, uh, let's see, Travis Legler also writes in and says, hearing that you guys were watching Friday the 13th Part 8 this weekend, so my wife and I, along with our newborn Keaton and pup Gracie Bear, are watching Part 7 and 8 tonight. Nice. The pup is watching over Keaton. And Saw he sent a photo. It was pretty cute. Cute family. Yes. That's, that's exciting. I'm glad that uh, people are like really like, hey, we're watching along with you guys. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's always nice. fine. Yeah, that is nice. I yes. like. I like yeah. when you're playing along with. I do. Yeah. I like yeah. it when you're like with us. I yeah. mean, obviously, it's easier to play along with a movie like this than some of our <laughs> other choices. But you know, <laughs> uh, Richard Pulfer writes in and says, "I always thought the cover of this w- movie would look so cool, but I was too scared to watch it as a kid. Little did I know, the only thing I had to fear was false." Advertising. <laughs> Jason is only in Manhattan for a third of the movie, and only a shot in the Manhattan, or uh, and only shot in Manhattan for an even shorter amount of time. I guess Jason makes a pit stop in Manhattan sounded less cool. The only highlight was a boxing match with Jason, and I think Dog Soldiers did that better. Yeah, I think so. Well, Dog I Soldiers mean, is just a great yeah, movie. It's a better movie. Uh, isn't yeah. false movie. advertising the killer of childhoods? Like you ever think about like something that you were really excited for as a kid and then it was a disappointment and that's like when you start to first start becoming an adult and you're just like oh movies can be bad yeah exactly yeah. false advertising uh, murder yeah. of childhood it's a sad day yeah. when you realize yeah. movies can be bad yeah because yeah. there's no going back no, no there's like, not. Oh, what is the next one I have in store for me well Monty Montague kind of agrees oh, with hello. Richard saying I love this movie it's complete garbage. But I love this movie, especially the boxing scene where Jason <laughs> uppercuts Julius's head off. Yeah, it's yeah. a great scene. Sky yeah. Six Forty Four says, "I love it when Jason is getting punched on the rooftop. He almost gets him to fall off the edge, and then Jason knocks the guy's head head off." When I was younger, watching this for the first time, I was like, "Yes, somebody's actually going to beat him up." Yep. He got so close. It mm-hmm. does feel like a uh, Terminator Two moment. Yeah. yeah, where you just get him really close to the edge, mm-hmm. and they're just like <laughs> <laughs> wagging the finger that close. Uh, Nick Siebel says, I have great memories of renting the Friday the 13th series at Blockbuster. Jason Takes Manhattan isn't the greatest of the series, but does have memorable scenes. The rooftop boxing match is always a fun scene. Jason with the one hitter. Uh, However, the greatest scene in the movie is when Jason lifts up his mask and punks out the punk rockers. Mm -hmm. He then says, happy Friday the 13th, Saturday night freak Mm -hmm. show. I think every comment should have the 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 gif from part six where he's just like happy Friday the thirteenth. He's holding the fucking bloody glass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that yeah. is what I think of every time we hit Friday the thirteenth is that cop doing that shit. <laughs> but there it is. Simon Carter says, How old is the graduating student who's trying to honeypot the teacher? I mean, come on. Seriously, yeah. though, it's a fun I, movie with an awesome title. Which was, shame I was, doesn't quite deliver. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I'm just like, she looks 30. Yeah. Yeah. She does. She That's, does. She's, she's, that she's, plot kind of went older. nowhere. Tamara. Yeah, I, I literally forgot it. I think everybody got, everybody got murdered before it could go anywhere. I literally so, forgot about it. Why did it now. even exist? What was the point of that? Uh, just because it's the These 80s. These are plot things that keep our characters yeah, moving. The 80s were salacious, and they're just trying to... Yeah. Yeah. But like as we were talking about, like there isn't any nudity in this movie compared to like previous... True. Friday the 13th. So it's uh, like yeah. by Friday the 13th True. standard, it's not even that salacious. It is, like, it is ironic. There, my favorite Friday the 13th movie, which is part six, there's a little has bit of nudity. No, nudity. no nudity. Yeah. Yeah. yeah zero. No. There's a little bit in this one. There's like, a, like, moment, like an A nipple and somebody gets thrown oh, into at the a mirror, mirror which is right. not her. Yeah. 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 No, that girl got thrown into the, the mirror, had a crazy wig on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She did. Dom Cree writes in Hey, Dom. Hey, Dom. Welcome back. He says, nothing much to say, except this reminds me of the smell of video rental stores, Friday night VCR <laughs> sessions, prank calls, and the freedom of youth. I can even smell the tape right now. Oh. Anyone got a time machine? I was going to say, I'm time traveling, just like listening oh. to that. I can like, see the stickers. On I, that miss, <laughs> on I miss the smell of Hollywood video. We're all with you, Dom. We yeah. all, we're all there. The I prank wanna, calling, too. I used to work in a video I store. I just want to lay Two. in VHS tapes right now. Yeah. And just wrap the tape around it. <laughs> I had to repair that shit. And you splice you, it. It's not the same. Did you have to splice film. actual VHS? Yeah, which is oh. dumb. It's dumb. Yeah. It seems dumb. Yeah, it was. And then you get that rainbow shit. You know. Yeah. It doesn't splice together like film. Did does. you guys hear our remaining family video is closing? Yep. It's being oh, turned the one into Byron? no, the one here. Oh, the one here. Yeah. Oh, the one on like uh, Charles. On Charles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's really? being turned into a Dollar General. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's depressing. But they were saying, you, you know, it shouldn't be that much of a surprise because they're like a uh, pizza uh, CBD. Like they yeah. were. Adding all this stuff that was yeah, not movie yeah. really yeah. surprised, yeah. but it is it, every it's time. Disappointing it's disappointing because it's, it's like you're taking away. a chunk away, yeah, a little it's, more. It's yeah, but like, when away. was the last time you went? I was like, did no, you? No, did you ever go in there? I never go there. It's when they shut down the red boxes. Then you know it's really right. Then we're just like, oh shit. Pat Nowacki writes in and says, "Party is not the best, but it holds a special place in my heart because it's the first one I remember watching, and to me, it's the definitive Jason look. As for the best, it's probably number four, but number six is." my favorite 
Wow, yeah, all of sure. our listeners are like saying like the same things we were saying. It's yeah. pretty awesome. We're all in the same yeah. Everyone yeah. here uh-huh. is a Friday the Thirteenth scholar. I believe mm-hmm. that this is absolutely true. Um, <laughs> Jacob Kotner writes in and says, "Part Eight is one of my favorites of the series. The first four movies are the ones people see as the really good ones in the series, but I love almost all of them. But from the opening song of Part Eight, I'm always sucked in." That's Metropolis, mm-hmm. right? Sings uh, Darkest Side of the Night. Yeah. I think so. Which eventually I think you can get on an album called Power of the Night that they finally put Power out in the, the 2000s. That one? <laughs> yeah. There was a time when, a when I was going. No, I don't think they did that. But I was going through trying to get all the songs from the Friday 13th movies. Yeah. Yeah. Jason driving a boat to a bigger boat and killing everyone on board is awesome. I just want a shot of him like putting on Swimming. the throttle of that boat. Yeah, why yeah. didn't we get a quick cut <laughs> back to that? that. Just like, With a little captain's hat on? Right. Just, and, 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 <laughs> no, we just see him and then he reaches down and then grabs the Yeah, the I'm a, yeah. Is Jason <laughs> holding on to that little rowboat? Or did he walk the whole way, like to on the ocean floor? To I get think to no. New York? I think he's swimming throughout this movie. Like he knows where breast he's going. I like. Breast I like. Breast yeah, to, yeah, no. Breast I like. To, no, Jason's I, breaststroke. I like to think the kid he, who drowned. Are we going? I was going to say. I was going to no. say. Wait. He so he drowned, but he can swim now. No, he fucking hitched a ride like Marty Back to the Future style. Or yeah. he's or yeah. it's like he's, uh, he's hanging on the yeah, back. He's hanging on the back. Black Pearl, where he's just walking on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. I would go. I would zombie. go with that too. He's like, no. the, 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 he's definitely not swimming. It is absolutely is not, Back to the fine, Future yeah. style, hanging on the back of the boat, I'm hitching a ride. Either he's yeah. hitching absolutely. a ride or walking on the bottom. Yeah, he's like I'm a barnacle okay just clinging to the bottom of the boat. Yes. Well, Jacob says he also likes the score. He likes the actors. Kane Hodder's is brutal in this movie. The title put too many expectations on the movie and that's a lot of the reason people hate on it but if you just want some 80s jason teleporting around and smacking teens you're in for a treat yep jason <laughs> teleports to manhattan might have worked a little better uh <laughs> why didn't he teleport yeah. oh he didn't know where they were going yeah that's that's why. right yeah that's why otherwise if you could have seen it you can tra- teleport yeah, that's there. right I think that's it's all line of sight yes uh jacob laws writes in and says it should be called jason takes vancouver <laughs> Of course. Because that's yep. where the majority yep. of it is. Film. Which is beautiful. That's right. As we leave really the gorgeous. mountains the of New York. At the the Appalachians, the Appalachians <laughs> of Vancouver. Yes. Uh, those are the Catskills, dude. Cat that was, that was a joke, Colin. Uh, nevertheless, <laughs> this Friday the 13th has some of the biggest what the fuck moments from the franchise. Like yeah, Jason turning into a kid at the end. Yep. Jason teleporting, among other things. Did love that Jason literally knocked the victim's head off. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brett Zemecki writes in and says, I love this utterly ridiculous movie <laughs> so damn much. There is so goddamn mail for that movie. Yeah, there's, <laughs> oh my God, I love it's it. Still going. I, I, I love, love it. I love how much mail we have. That's yes. wonderful. I love the passion people have. That's right. Thank you yeah. for writing in. That is wonderful. About last week's movie, It Chapter 2, Novato Judoka says he just walked out of the theater and it was sad that the trailer was the best part of a tonal mess. Of a movie. It is a tonal mess. Tonal mess is correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. About the previous week's episode, Alice Sweet Alice, I love to dig 0044 says the Catholics seem to be the most prominent religion in horror movies because of the ceremony, the mystery, and the longevity of the Catholic Church. With the Catholic Church, you feel that nothing experienced is new and that it's all been seen before. Right. I mean, I think that has a lot to do with it. The, the the way they do mass is so that you can go to mass anywhere and it and it's the same kind of ceremony so you know what to expect right. and be, and that like adds to that like ancient mysticism that like it never evolves or it never changes yeah. I think that's it like the yeah. Catholic Church because like Protestants and Baptists and I don't know Episcopalians don't have the same kind of mysticism no not like, at there all there is no exorcism no you know it's like Catholic Church actually has that kind of stuff mm-hmm. it seems like and so that you know, opens the door to like a uh, kind of, yeah. you It know. makes it seem more exotic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, um, okay, so we were talking in Alice, sweet Alice. We don't understand why Alice couldn't get communion with, I put forth the idea that, you know, maybe uh, she, because she was born out of wedlock movie takes place in 1960s. Michael Whitaker writes in and says, I was an altar boy for many years. And I don't recall there being any rule that says, if you're born out of wedlock, you can't receive communion. Alice would have had to have been taking the same classes as her sister. But as far as I know, that would be the only thing preventing her from getting communion. In general, the Catholics' whole spiel is that they want everybody, like the Monty Python song, song, Every Sperm is Sacred. So they probably (laughs) want to get the whole family involved with that part of Mass. Yeah, we're all a little fuzzy on the the rules of Catholicism. That that could also be true. 
Yeah, that they want. Yeah. Uh, they want to get as many people as they can yeah. into it. The movie um, just didn't make I, it clear. No, yeah, it, it really didn't. I remember uh, there's a. I think there's a lot more exclusion in the Catholic community than anyone wants to remember, but. I'll take yeah. especially in the 60s like I right, said sure, but uh, it, maybe it was, that but that may also be true so. and it was the era too when uh, you know if a girl got pregnant they basically you get shipped off to you know stay with a cousin somewhere yeah. right and you come back with like your nephew yeah uh, Jonathan Holt writes in and says uh I would totally listen to the Saturday Night True Crime podcast because we ah, put that for we have a fan. Hell yeah! Episode. All right, all right. I love so, it. what do we call the Saturday Night uh, Freak Show po- uh, True Crime podcast? What do we do? We just We're call that, that one yeah. some thought. <laughs> we we need to because uh, let's do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> as uh, we commit true crimes and then tell you about that, <laughs> uh, we could also do that. Yeah, yeah I mean well, up, that's the new wrinkle. Murder? Yeah, yeah like, I mean, right? I whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't say murder. I just said true crime. I uh, can just involve murder, murder, minor murder, theft, murder. We could do white collar crime, Sean. <laughs> I'm all. We can just embezzle uh, money and stuff. You know, murder. Uh, so go now we're gonna go. Thank you for insider trading. I'm probably gonna get questioned by the police soon. That. So it's like a confession. Um, <laughs> so now we're going to go around the room and we're going to tell you we what are. we thought of Friday the 13th part eight. And thank you for sticking with us this long. I know we're getting kind of long winded. Uh, thank you, Colin. Yes, Sean. Colin, what did you think about Friday the 13th part eight? Jason takes Manhattan. Um, it's all this movie is always going to have a large, um, you know, um, nostalgia buzz for me because it was the first Friday. You know, I loved the Friday the 13th movies when I was a kid, and this was the first one I got to see in theater. Uh, I think, uh, you know, when we talk about like the Friday the 13th and the Halloween films and the Nightmare on Elm Street films, I think the Friday the 13th movies are my my favorite movies. They're the ones that I gravitated toward the most. I remember drawing Jason's. I remember drawing, you know, the probably, which, you know, probably freaked my parents out, you know, uh, imagery of the murders. Sure, sure. You know, I mean, I think oh, a lot of kids do this. I don't think Colin's right. Yeah. Should we, should we right. I mean, because they're like, what the fuck? But, you know, I mean, there's an appreciation for the the uh i think which i like the I would artistry take you of it. someone but I, yeah because i mean i i uh, empathize with uh, kane hodder it's like i want to be jason there's a picture sure. upstairs in my hallway yeah. of me you got as a mask in, jason in got the mask. office right now i love the character uh jason is to me the most uh like american slasher movie here and it's like for the friday the 13th movies is like this kind of uh you know I don't know. I just and 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 putting him in New York kind of accentuates that. It does. It's, it's like, like oh, this is the most like is, American slasher belongs. movie. Yeah. yeah, it's Jason. Uh, you know, in New York. Um, I, I think the idea for this movie is ridiculous. This is, I mean, first it's New York and then it's space. As far as I'm concerned, you're just trying to like, what can we do? And next it's going to be Jason in the snow. Is this is what happens when you're like. You have run. Jason in the reasons. snow is not on the same there level as those two. Films I'm going to go with Jason in the snow. Yeah, I know. I know. But, but it I'm makes saying, more, there are such thing as winter like I know. camps. But like I'm, 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 I'm saying is changing put, the visual look the of snow. where the character th- is th- into some kind of Jason should be in the snow. Uh, a surrounding that makes it exciting again. And that's what I'm saying. That this it's the same mentality. Uh-huh. It is like well, we're going to do something we visually have. We put Jason at the bottom of the ocean or on a fucking right. you know like oil rig. Different. I've never yes. seen that before. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, him and Mark Wahlberg on an oil rig. God, yeah, I do. Yes. Both trying to survive. I really do like the look of Jason. I like the fact that you know Kane. I like Kane Hodder's performance. Yes, I know this is kind of like we have gone way down into the kind of the granular. You know, of like what movies sure. are. And I think you do when you become like a fan of these films. But I mean, I really like Kane Hodder. I really like what he's doing here. I really like that we get to see him a lot. Um, but and I like the scenes in New York and stuff like that. But as I get older, I have to sit there and watch these movies and go like, oh, this movie is fucking terrible. I mean, it makes no goddamn logical sense like at all. I mean, it really is a pretty badly written movie by a director who, or a writer at least who doesn't know shit about the anything in the world or character building or anything. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I think, you know, I, we were ranking them earlier. Where did I put this? It was, but basically there, the thir- Friday the 13th, I would recommend are, I think, and even though I said six is the best one, I think probably I would tell people who are interested, I'm like, look at four first. Four is like sure. kind of, that is the, 
condensed version of like what the Friday the Thirteenth right. is. The mythology is can is of, yeah. It's a good of, intro of movie. Of That's of the Jason intro movie is yeah. in there. Yes, but for those of us who are in the franchise, are fans of the franchise, six is the best one. And yeah. probably for other people, it'd be like this is a good intro. If you're not really a horror person, mm. you know, six is a pretty good uh, mm-hmm. entry point. Yeah, it is. And then uh, one and three. I think after that, I'm kind of like. I mean, to be honest with you, after that, they all kind of, you know, they all I blur together. They, well, not so much blur. To, like, I, I distinctly recognize the tone and all that of each yeah. one of them, but their importance yeah. falls, you know, into right. uh, kind of like, mm. and this one, unfortunately, yeah, and this rewatch. <laughs> what are you adding to this mythology? Yeah. I was just kind of like, this movie, the fucking teleporting Jason, I just don't get, I don't get what's going on with the ghost kid. Is he a ghost? Is he a hallucination? I don't know. Even watching it this time, I'm like, this makes no fucking sense at all. It's not as egregiously bad as part seven, which, you know, once you start hearing the dialogue as like, you know, uh, where everybody's like, hello? 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 I think that is ben? The, the origin of our hello. Yeah. I think that is the origin it's of an, it, is part seven. Seven's worse. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't think this is a good movie. I'm going to say no. Uh, I'm not going to recommend, believe it or not, <laughs> Friday the 13th, part eight. Uh, I'm going to recommend the ones that I mentioned already. Holly, where are you at? Uh, first of all, I want a movie with Jason in the snow, by the way. There's fan films. For I want that. Hollis. I do too. There, there I think are, it makes the most there sense. There are fan films for both of you, and also I want it too. Like it, it would blood, make sense. Blood against the contrast of the white snow. Love right. it. Like, I also want to see him on a toboggan. In a winter camp. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you think I want about to it, see Jason in a toboggan. You remember like all those '80s ski trip movies? Yes. Make an '80s ski That's trip what I movie want. with yeah. Jason. I want in it. Better because, Off Dead, but with Jason. Yes. Yeah. I think That's this what is this is a natural place where they should have gone where they didn't. And they, but again, you're still talking to me. You're, you're talking about a visual concept, not like an actual idea for a movie. You know what I mean? What I mean the, it's, unless, how, how is it any different than any other previous Friday the Thirteenth? I would agree with that statement. It's but so, but saying, all those movies thing. got made and they worked, right? So but that's why we don't need to wake them anymore because they've con- been done already. But it's a continuous thing. Yeah. Okay. It's, well, anyway, it, it, Holly, right. Holly anyway. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry, Holly. Yes. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I brought it up. It's fine. You did. I did. It's my fault. This movie is total garbage. It's ludicrous. And? It's it's ludicrous. It, is it toxic garbage. It, it is it is toxic garbage. <laughs> like it is toxic the, like waste. The barrels of shit. This movie this movie into. flushes through the sewers of New York and washes it clean. Um, with that said, I fucking love this movie. It is so much fun. The tone of it is just ridiculous because uh, just the premise. I can't even. We said earlier that like a fourteen-year-old probably wrote this movie, right? Because it's just like, oh, let's have toxic waste and let's have it. So stupid. It's so wonderfully. It's so wonderfully stupid. In in a fourteen-year-old's world, he would be climbing the set. Yes, at some point. Mm -hmm. Yes, he would be there. Mm -hmm. Which I'm just like, I still want. Like, if they were to do it now, (laughs) I'd be like, if they were to just do a teaser of like. Jason revealed in the crown of the Statue of Liberty, and they're just like coming soon. I'm just like, holy shit! Yeah, have, have I you want seen that? that movie. Have you seen the Mondo poster for this movie? No, no. It's Jason as the Statue of Liberty. Yes, ah, yes. yes. I that's love a great it. Bravo, poster. Bravo, bravo. I love it. <laughs> I um, like it because that's yeah. basically what this movie was. Yeah, like well, that was the advertising for this no, movie. I love it. it. Jason took New York, guys. He took. He New took York. York. I mean, I. I did you not oh. love? Did you not love pointing out all of the plot holes in this movie? Because I loved it. It was so much fun. Mm-hmm. I loved pointing out all the stupid things of this movie. It's horrible, horrible, horrible movie. Toxic and, waste, and everyone should watch it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. horrible, it and you should watch there it. There it is, yeah. Michaela. I think. I mean, we had talked a little bit off mic and a little bit last week off mic about how we think this movie gets unfairly maligned a lot. Um, uh, probably, I think because so. like I, I hear people like hate on this movie all mm. the time to the degree of like. A Jason goes to hell or a Jason X. I don't which, think you can hate this movie. Oh, there are people, but there are people that still feel the hurt of being misled by the title Shh, that can't uh, let that go. And that's what I'm it. saying. We gotta get let it go it. by now. It's been 30 years. We gotta yeah, let it go. Get over it. Um, it there's a there's a lot of like I mean it hits it checks all the boxes of what you would want for a Jason movie. So what like you know what more can you ask for? Is kind of my approach. I I think that when it comes to Friday the Thirteenth versus A Nightmare on Elm Street, I 
would much rather watch the Friday the 13th movies. Like I revisit those a lot more and I find them a lot more watchable. Mm. Um, and you get a lot more variety with those movies, I think too. Um, yeah, Freddie didn't go to New York. <laughs> he is, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, he went to a nunnery at one point. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, which is pretty fucking boring as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, for, but whatever. For being like someone who travels through dreams, those movies are very contained. Actually, now right? that you say that, they're very yeah. contained to one area. Oh, a nun was my mother, and then it turned into the fuck you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that God. that's really where they it goes off the rails. But um, we didn't really talk about it. But like a lot of the the iconic imagery that comes from this movie is JJ, the like fucking rock and roll guitar player that's in it for that, two seconds. It's good. I yeah. remember the first time I saw this movie, I was so disappointed she died. That early on, I was like, she "Ooh, should, I want to see where this like, goes." She should like beat up Jason yeah. with the guitar and run away. I like the guitar kill, though. Even it is though good. No, I like no, it. she should eventually get killed with yeah, it. Yeah, but, but it should, should be it, it should be in a moment where she pauses to become a street performer in New York City. Yeah, right? <laughs> she should be. Yeah, she should be right. in Times Square street right? performer. I, yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's where she fits. Not yeah. on a war. Like, why is there not? Oh my god, here's another scene for our movie. Like, so you know that there's the fucking knockoff movie characters in the middle of Times Square, just like they are on Hollywood Boulevard, yes. right? And like yes, you pay to take a picture with them or whatever. Why does he not see like a really shitty knockoff Jason and he does like a head tilt at him a little bit and then he just like chokes him out or something? Right. I would <laughs> like, like maybe they should play up that like they, the legend of Jason exists yeah. outside of this and it's close enough in New Jersey as it. I were. don't know if they had the like the Times Square characters back then. Probably not because this is still like the did. porno time. Really? Yeah, nobody yeah. is. Uh, nobody. LA, yeah. Yeah. LA did. New York may yeah. not have. Yet. But yeah. you know, just move the timeline up a little bit, you know. Sure, you um, make it. Like, yeah. Just because it didn't exist doesn't mean you can't like make that right. um, world exist. But I, I mean, like I said, I go into this expecting to see Jason kill people in cool ways. There's a couple that are kind of lame and like they kind of build up in a way you think that they might be better. Um, but I mean, like I said, I feel like this movie gets a lot more shit than it deserves because it's, it's trying. It's trying to do something, but still be a Friday the 13th movie. So I give him credit for that. Um, Kane Hodder's great. I think this might be my favorite performance of his. I think so. Sean. I recommend it, Sean. It very well might be. Um, I mean, I can't, uh, I can't give a negative review to a movie that just like it gets into the Jason, the Jason shit real quick. And I appreciate this movie for doing that. Like it knows. I mean, we're at movie number eight at this point. It knows what it is. It knows Jason exists. It's in the title, and it gets right to killing people. And I appreciate it for that. Um, and I think it does it on a, a constant enough basis where, like, I'm never bored with it. Um, the storyline may be inconsequential, but, you know, it involves the characters. You know, the son is not living up to his father's expectations and all that shit. But it, it does enough in that storyline where I'm good with it until we get to Jason actually taking Manhattan. And then we get Jason in Manhattan. And it's fucking Jason in Manhattan. And I it. like it. He takes it. <laughs> even if it is Vancouver at some point. But, like, we get Jason in Times Square. Like, I like taking these characters. It's, it, it really is if, like, we took Michael Myers out of Haddonfield, which would feel wrong because J- uh, Michael Myers belongs there. But if we took him out into Can, a different environment. I want to put him in Miami. Maybe. Right? I don't know. But if we right? took him into somewhere else, <laughs> I'm just like, all right, this is new and it could be different and he could interact with it differently. And that's cool. But we took Jason and we put him in fucking New York. And that's uh, awesome. We put him in diners. We put him on the streets of New York. We put him in the fucking sewers. Like, this is cool. And I like that we're taking a icon at this point and putting him in these situations. Um, I had uh, a really good time with this movie. It moved a lot faster than I remember it ever moving. It's like one of the longest of the series. It is, but it went real quick for me tonight. I don't know why, because we got to the boat stuff was interesting. And then we got to he's in New York and I was all for it. Um, uh, I recommend this movie. I had a lot of fun with this. Um, Again, I think it does get maligned. more so than it should be because uh, I had a lot of fun with it and he does a lot of cool stuff. It also feels like the most, it may be the most pure Jason movie because he is the, he, it feels like he's the main character of this one. Um, he's doing, he, he, he's doing, a, he's involved a lot more in the storyline. Maybe he's not the main character, but he's involved, involved a lot more in what's going on, which I appreciate. Um, but yeah, I recommend this. I had a really good time with this tonight. Um, I think it. Uh, everyone should put this farther up on their list than they have it on, and give it a rewatch, and you know, go from there. So, I recommend Jason Takes Manhattan. Good time. It Liked is. it. Yeah. 
All Good right, stuff. Then. That's Friday the 13th, part eight. Jason eight. takes Manhattan. Part I know you've eight. all been waiting for us to do this for a very long time. <laughs> Good and stuff. There, there it is. Next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Holly. Holly, do you know what we're watching next week? I do. Okay. What are we watching next week? It's spooky season. Oh, spooky. We're spooky. 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 What's more spooky than a haunted house? Right? Mm. Right? We're watching House of Haunted Hill. Oh, shit. The 1999 House the of Haunted Hill? The remake, yes. Uh, obviously. <laughs> we obviously. Wait, are you a big Chris, Chris Kattan? Kattan? I was going to yeah, say, you a big Chris yeah. Kattan you fan? You fucking know it. <laughs> Chris Kattan, Tate Diggs, <laughs> Famke Jansen, and Jeffrey Rush. Yes. There you go. We're going to have fun. <laughs> right. That dates that that cast dates that movie alone. It really does. That's 1999, folks. <laughs> the year 1999. All right, so that's uh, next week. Look forward to that on Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, the basement is going dark. <laughs>